What day is it today? Is it hump day? Oh, it's Wednesday, so you can say happy hump day. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to say. <laughs> Maybe that's just because, like, I think it's funny to say hump day because I always think of, like, something dirty. But if you guys, um, if you guys are new here, by the way, my name is Mackenzie. I'm a Saint artist. I sell this makeup, right? And this company that I sell the makeup for, Saint, um, we had a, a conference this weekend. And so one of the, um, hey, Tiffany, you guys, Tiffany, nail junkie, that's the one who does my nails. She, she's the one. She does the nails. That's that's where you get the nails. Nail Junkie 615. Um, how do I get you on our podcast? Oh, I'll come on your podcast. What is it? Tell me more. I like being on podcasts because I'm really good at talking. <laughs> um, anyway, so we had a, 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 a conference, a virtual conference, and we had a team watch party, and all the different teams got together and, like, um, sh uh, like you know, had a watch party or whatever. Hey, Stacy Pizza. Hi. Oh, my God. Charlie B is on my live. Ah! I love her. I love you. Um, I screenshotted that, so I will, I will get back to you and let you know after I get off of here. Um, thank you guys for being here. It makes me so excited when you're like, hey, I'm glad I made it to a live. So that's really cool. Um, but anyways, at our conference, one of the, so I had, I was up for this award, right? The most interesting person. So a bunch of saint artists, um, uh, I told my team, Michelle, oh yeah, Michelle was there. Oh my gosh, I can't stop reading the comments. I'm sorry, I have ADD brain. Um, or ADHD, is that what you're supposed to call it now? Anyways, so, <laughs> thank you. Um, oh, let me screenshot that. Okay, so they had an award and like the, all the artists vote and like they voted me for like most interesting person, right? Which is fine. And I was so honored, first of all. But second of all, so our MC, um, his name is Billy Flanagan and he is so amazing. And when he was talking about, when he was trying to introduce the award, he said, well, we have the most amazing or the most interesting, the most amazing, you guys, I'm a jerk, the most interesting person award. And he said, what? Or no, he said, who hasn't this person done? What? hasn't this person done? And so everybody died laughing. And so it was really, really funny. And we just had such a great time with it. And so when I think of, when I think of hump day, I think of like, like I'm a hoe. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. And then I posted a video saying, oh my gosh, like Billy Flanagan, like the Billy Flanagan called me a hoe. And I was so honored because like it was on accident, obviously. But then like everybody was like, attacking him like how dare he call you a hoe and I was like no no like you I had to delete the video because everybody thought that he was like calling me a hoe and like how dare he which thank you guys for sticking up for me like that is so sweet but also it wasn't like that. <laughs> nobody read the caption so now I know literally no one else reads the caption so I'm not gonna write them anymore <laughs> oh my god that's so funny um, anyway, so I want to do some makeup with you guys and I'm so glad you did the glow up. Oh my gosh. Don't you love the rose gold underneath? I'll show you what she's talking about. So I, I started doing this thing. I saw another artist do it. I can't remember who it was, or I would totally give her name and to like totally give her credit for that. But, um, is the makeup you rub good for sensitive skin? Um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not allowed to say like yes or no. So please don't like sue me um, for liability. But many of my customers do have sensitive skin and they love it because there's few ingredients and it's beeswax, which is actually really healing for the skin. So many of my customers, this is the only makeup they can wear. So I would say if you have sensitive skin, um, check with your doctor with the ingredients and then try it on your skin and see how it does. But oh, many, many of my customers love it. So I hope that helps to answer your question without being, oh yeah, it'll totally work hundred percent. Um, Hey Lindsay, Lindsay's here. Okay. <clears throat> so what I did was I took this rose gold illuminator, by the way, if you want to get matched to this makeup, just comment the word match right here and it should send you the, you'll have to let me know if it sends the color match link. Hold on straight to you. Well, somebody type the word match and see if it comes to you. I want to make sure that it, um, that it's working. Hold on. I want to make, I want to see if it's working. I hope it does. I'm gonna ask my friend. Um, no, the eyeshadows are powders. Y'all tell me if it, t it should send you an automatic message and it should say, Hey, this is like an automatic message that I set up, but here's the color match link. So tell me if it says that, <coughs> excuse me. If not, then I have to go through and I'll just screenshot. Oh, yay! It's working. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. So anyways, nothing sent. 
Um, I do, um, I try to do tutorials on these too. Wait, so it is working? Hold on. Sorry. I'll go through, I'll just, okay, I'll just screenshot everybody who did it, um, who didn't get that, and I'll try to send that to you. A couple people got it. Okay, cool. So anyways, if you want to get color match for this makeup, just comment the word match and I will color match you. You can also, actually, let me just post my, my cell phone number, my cell phone, the, my saint number. Don't think you call me on my cell phone. I'm not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Um, I'll put free color match. So this is a, a just, it's a text program. You can text me anytime. Um, there we go. And let me pin it. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Pin. Okay. There's my phone number. You can just text it. On Facebook, you can't do that. So I forgot you could do it. Okay. So the underpainting that I was talking about, I'm literally obsessed with it. It will change your makeup game if you use the cream makeup. I've never... Yeah, I can just... Yeah, text me. Text me, Katie. I can totally update your match for you. No problem. Um, I've never tried this with liquid or traditional makeup, but I've only tried it with this makeup and I love it. So I want to show you. This is Rose Gold Illuminator. These look really dark on the website, but they're not ha they're not as dark as you as you think they are in person, especially because um they are very like they're very pigmented, so you don't need very much, and they're very sheer. Yeah, so I know, Sarah, that's what I said. Hey, Rachel. Thank you guys for testing that for me. I wasn't, I have this automated program that I set up because a lot of customers were saying like, a lot of customers were saying, hey, I asked for a match, but I didn't get a response. And because it sends to like, the messages get sent to like different folders and I don't know how all that works. And so I sent the, or I set up an automation so that if you text the word match, it'll send you my color match link. And if you text this, but when you text me, it's gen it's genuinely me. Like it's, you're actually texting me. So if you get an automated message, like I have some set up where like, just because of the sheer volume, like if you text the word match to my phone number, it'll send you the automatic, um, the color match form. But every, like if you just want to have a regular conversation, you can do that too. It's just the, the keywords that trigger, um, that trigger certain things. So those are the automations I have set up. And I know that, um, a lot of people are against automations because they're like, that's not you. And I'm like, um, if you want to have a conversation with me, you can just be like, Hey girl, let's have a conversation. I'll be like, okay, what's up? How's your mom? And then like, it's, it's me. You can text me. Okay. So I'm just taking this rose gold. Oh, I got a rogue eyebrow like my grandpa. <laughs> um, top right. Are you talking about this one? This is Sandy. Oh, you're in Australia. We're coming to Australia soon. This is Sandy setting powder. This is my, my two like foundation shades, a concealer, contour, bronzer, illuminator, setting powder, and color correctors. Um, Saint has really good makeup brushes. They're all double ended and they are really good quality. They were made for this makeup. So I really love using them. These are, this is Sandy, my main shade. I'll show you when I go through them because I think I'm going to use, yeah, I think I'll use all of them. It's kind of cool that your whole face is in just like one palette, right? So text the word match or text me directly. I can color match you and you'll, you'll get the colors you need. So this is the underpainting. I took that rose gold kind of shimmer illuminator and I dusted it all over with the shape brush. Okay. So it's kind of like fluffy. Hey, Kaylin. Um, okay, so now I'm going to start with my darkest color, which everyone's terrified of. They're like, contour, that's so scary. These colors look really dark. If you look at this color, it looks too dark for me. The contour looks really dark. I kind of want to show you that they're not very scary. This is the 3D brush. You don't have to use as many brushes. I just like to demonstrate different brushes so you can get a feel for them. But you don't have to use 47 brushes if you don't want to. So the contour actually has a little bit less, um, it's a little bit less creamy. So you kind of have to dig into it a little bit unless it's warmer in your space and then it might be a little softer. When I do my contour, I take this, so this high point of... The high point of your cheeks is where the bronzer goes. That's on top. And when you roll it down, you see how it sinks into that cheekbone area? That's where your contour goes. So contour, bronzer. See how it sinks down? And so that's how you can feel the difference. Um, or you can just like create a new like chisel on your face, which is what I do. I fake it. So down here is my cheekbone, like right down here, but I lift it. Bring it up to Jesus. 
And I feel like it, do you see how it kind of gives you a lift on your face? Um, will this work on my facial cream? I don't like crack powder looks. Oh, you're in Spring Hill. You're so close to me. Um, no, this is not cracky and cakey. This is cream. It, it has no alcohol in it, so it doesn't evaporate. It doesn't set or settle. It just melts into your skin really beautifully. You can see where that natural shadow is there. So I use my 3D brush, and I just kind of lightly tap or lightly glide that brush. I'm not mashing. We're not, we're not, stop it. And not mashing. We're just getting in that contour and we're really just applying it to the perimeter. You do not have to be a makeup expert or a professionally trained makeup artist to use this makeup. I am not professionally trained. As you can tell, sometimes I even forget to blend. Like I'll just walk around all willy nilly and something will be unblended. It happens. I've posted videos with things unblended. Like you just don't catch it. Like I'm human, whatever. Um, so don't, you do not have to be a super great makeup artist. You can be a makeup dummy and use this makeup. It is so great to, um, to learn with. And it's great for young women who, you know, when we were young, like in eighth grade and we had that, like, we really learned how to put on some freaking layers of makeup. I really love this for young women who are just getting started in makeup. So if you have teens and young girls, this is really great. I have same, but you do it way better than me. Well, it's, it, but it's also preference, right? Like you, but, and also don't be afraid to explore with different ways to do your makeup. Like don't be afraid to take a darker contour shade. Hold on. I'm going to get the darkest contour shade. No, the second to darkest. The, the darkest contour shade is that's for a really deep skin tone. And I just don't think it'll work. I think it look crazy. This one is the darkest. This is indigo. This is the darkest for my skin tone. So this is an even darker shade. And you see how they're just not that dark? Like they're really not bad. Um, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying not to miss any comments. Um, so I started with olive and now I'm using indigo. So I'm going into my indigo and it just is not that dark, you guys. Like it is not dark. When I color match you, I look at the root of your hair. So if I color match myself, I would probably even color match myself to, um, to indigo or like Astoria. I like the way olive looks. So I use olive and that's really cool how you can kind of change your shades. Like most women can wear multiple different shades. That's why if you watch any Saint artists closely, you'll see that a lot of them um, have different shades in their palette and that's okay. Most women can wear multiple shades and because they're only $16 each, it makes it kind of affordable to, you know, mix and match your shades. But anyway, so this is actually a cooler tone. So this is my contour. And so you see how it looks really dark. It might look a little bit muddy at first. The nose contour, when you see this, see that bright line right there? How the light is just catching that bright line? When you hug that line, it just enhances that. So it like, it makes this look brighter. And so you'll see at the end that it's kind of like a nice, it's a nice, really pretty situation. Um, okay. So I start with my darkest shade, the super, super scary shade. Then I go to the lightest shade. Kind of weird, right? Same 3d brush. And I like to tap into this. This is, you don't have to use a lot of this. I'm just lightly tapping. And whenever I apply this, I kind of come right here in the corners. I don't jam this super light color here under my eyes. I'm almost 40. I'm going to be 40 in July, July 4th to be exact. I'm a, I'm a Independence Day baby, firecracker baby, hence Freedom Barbie. Um, but you'll see, like, this is the under eye area is where it's the most dry. It's the most crepey. And it's, it's just, it's not, it's very textured compared to the rest of your skin. So I try to avoid putting makeup in that area. Again, do it however you want. I'm not your mama. You do literally whatever you want. This is the way that I do it. I do it the way that I think my makeup looks pretty. You do it the way that you think it looks pretty. And if you want to switch up some things, totally do it. Um, so I'm just using this brush and tapping in lightly to my concealer shade. And you see how those little bitty taps picked up a lot of product. You don't need a whole lot. Hi, Marla. Oh my gosh, you're here. I'm so glad you're here. We were just chatting in our in our telegram okay so i'm bringing this white like the brightness straight down my face and across so this is my t-zone 
by applying this in my t-zone you're gonna add that brightness there right so it looks really crazy it looks heavy it looks cakey it looks muddy right I'm not like it looks insane like that's ridiculous but just wait there's more so now I'm gonna take the same brush that I used that dark contour with you can see it's just got that contour all over it right and I'm going to apply my let's call it foundation at Saint, we don't call it foundation, we just call it like a main highlight. It's your main shade closest to your skin tone. The way that I apply this is I take my main highlight shade or my foundation, Sandy, and I'm gonna apply it basically everywhere else. So I'm just gonna kinda tap that in between those two shades, kinda right here where I didn't put any uh, brightening highlight or contour. So I'm filling in the gaps, okay? So you'll notice that I didn't put it all over my face. It's just filling in. If it's not white or brown, it's sandy, <laughs> right? So Stacy, you're gonna be 42. We're gonna be 40 the same year, 1984 babies. Okay, so you notice I put this, dark, this darker shade above my beard area. I like that color, it looks pretty there. That's where I like it. I like that it doesn't look textured. It melts in really nicely. I'm 49 today, happy birthday. And I swear Saint absolutely does not age me the way regular makeup does. Mm -mm, it doesn't. It's it was it was intended for mature skin. If you have mature skin, wear this makeup. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade, and this one's called Amber. And I'm gonna put this in my beard area. So under that contour, it's a little bit lighter. It matches with my um my neck a little bit better than the sandy does but even though I'm wearing two different shades one darker one lighter it's all gonna melt in really really pretty right so at first it looks kind of crazy and you're like um I think I did something wrong girl there are no lines to paint in beard goggles nose t-zone palm tree whatever you want to do okay beard cheekbones for contour goggles goggles is where we wanted the brightest right it's kind of fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna take all these shades and I'm not gonna swirly whirl. We're not doing this, stop, stop it. We're not doing that. We're not mashing, getting it all crazy. We're just gonna tap. So we're gonna start here and look. You can see all of these colors start to melt together. The dark doesn't look so dark. The bright is still dark without being crazy. All of these shades are literally melting into your skin. You do not have to be afraid of this makeup. Look, dimensional. Look, the dark creates this like shadow. I still have the brightness here, right? And look how bright my eyes look. And then you just keep blending. I'm struggling a little bit with how much to use. Okay, if you're struggling with how much to use, try a different brush. If you're applying with your fingers, try a brush. If you're applying with a brush, try your fingers. Another way to apply is use this smudge brush and do like the dots or whatever and um, try that way. But one finger swipe, boop, on your cheek should cover this whole entire cheek. So that's how much you should, you should use. Dig into your color, one finger swipe, that should cover literally your whole side, your whole quadrant of your face. So do a finger swipe, a finger swipe, a finger swipe. Try that. Hi, baby. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, thank you. You're My welcome. husband went and got me dinner. <laughs> he went to Panera, and I like their uh, Mediterranean bowl. And he got me some broccoli soup for tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, baby. I love you. Love you too, babe. Um, okay, so I take what's left on my brush and just kind of tap it on my eyelids too. But you can use, I guess I should use this side, I'll show you. This 3D brush kind of gets in these little crevices here, but I still squeeze the other end like a psycho and just whatever. So I just like kind of tap here. Do you ever use setting spray first? Um, I've heard that some girls like really do use the setting spray and they love it. I've never done it. I've never felt the need to, but you can... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me you can totally try it saints setting spray has aloe in it it's great for moisture it's really great for winter when we start getting a little bit more dry there's dry there's less humidity in the air try the saint setting spray i think you'll really like it especially um for winter but it's really nice and it's so it's moisture and bulletproofing basically so whenever you uh maine oh you're in maine oh it does the white stuff Um, definitely the Saint Setting Spray, definitely moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. My favorite moisturizers are, or my favorite moisturizer 
For nighttime is the Saint Cream, 100%. It's milk-based. It'll give you hydration, lactic acid, exfoliating, all the great properties that milk products provide. So definitely the Saint Cream. It's so thick. You'll love it. Um, in the morning, I use the Drunk Elephant products. And Drunk Elephant's expensive. Like, I'm not going to lie. But I really like it. It is, my skin just eats it up. And it's really a good investment for your skin. And they have, they leave out a bunch of unnecessary ingredients. And so, like, it doesn't, like, have a beautiful floral aroma or whatever. But I think that's because they're leaving out garbage ingredients. And I'm fine with that. Um, so, those are my recommendations. But try whatever you think. Oh, you use the Drunk Elephant too, Marsha? I'm telling you, I really love it. I'm in Florida. So, we don't struggle a lot. Like, I personally don't struggle a lot with dryness just because of the humidity. But in the winter time, I really do. Um, how do I get it to not feel like it's floating? Oh, you're probably using way too much. If it feels like an oil slick on your skin, you're using too much. If you find that you're having to apply too much or apply more to get the coverage you want, you probably just need to shade up. And those are the things that your artist, or if I'm your artist, then those are the things that I can help with. Those are the things that I can help troubleshoot for you. And a lot of times it's just a shade thing. So if you ever struggle with texture or how your makeup is setting, it is usually just a shade thing, which sounds really crazy, but it's true. I'm telling you, you guys got to trust me. I know this stuff. I know I, that's all I've done every day for two years. I'm telling you, you got to trust me. So you see how I'm just kind of tapping everywhere and that crazy, dark, scary contour, it just kind of turns into like a stain, like a stain on your face. It's just, you see how it's just like a stain for where the contour goes. It's kind of really pretty and it just, the, the warmer that your skin, like the longer it sits on your skin, the more it softens. I always try to let, I try to let you envisual, visualize, that's a word. I try to let you visualize like an uh, ice cube on a countertop. If you take an ice cube, set it on the countertop, what happens? It gets to room temperature and it starts getting, getting soft and it starts to melt and spread out, right? That's kind of just like your makeup on your face. The heat from your skin will soften your makeup. There's no alcohols in it. It's not going to dry up and evaporate like liquids will and take all the moisture from your skin. So it just, that sounds scary. It's a shadow, <laughs> but it looks like a stain. Like it looks like you stained because I actually like apply it a little bit higher than my natural shadow, but you can see my natural shadow there, but it's true. Like that's, you know what I mean? And so if you, if you're thinking of like the ice cube on the countertop, your makeup just kind of melts into your skin and it should feel like nothing. Like you shouldn't feel like an oil slick or anything like that. But I think what happens is we try to like at first, we're not used to this kind of makeup. We're so used to slathering the liquids. And when we do that, like that's just what, that's what we've been doing since eighth grade. Like no one can fault you for putting on too much like I feel like it's a rite of passage when you put on too much it's like yay congratulations now you're officially um a saint makeup girl because you put on too much we all did it we all do it it's fine everybody has put on too much when they first get it because you're you're not used to it but after one or two times you're like oh if I color match with you is my picture sent to anyone else or my phone number? I'm interested in Love Saint, but not sure my color is correct. Oh, I can help you. Yeah, so when you get a color match, you you do my color match form and it you submit your phone number and your email and your picture and I think I ask you a question like is there something else or you, there's like an area you can put if you need more help with something else or whatever. Anyways, so when you submit that, I get a text and it says, "Hey, this person has requested a color match." I pull up your picture and it aud the program that I use fills in your information like your text and your email. So when I send your color well, I look at your picture, I click the buttons, the colors for what you need, and then when I send it back to you, it sends you a text and an email with your color match. And it, I send you the link to a dashboard, which you'll have forever. And you can always refer back to your dashboard. And then you can get color matched as many times as you need. Like as we go into summer and you start wanting to, you know, shade up, like as we start to transition into summer, you'll see that if you're someone who gets even the least, the least bit of sun, you'll see that your color might start to look a little chalky or a little bit textured because it's getting too light. And then when you shade up, it's like, ah, and then it, it's perfect. So. Um, so yeah, I can help to help you determine if your color is right. And it's your color is right when like when you feel that it, when it when you feel it looks good. And 
just a little tippy tip. When I color match people, they're like, oh my God, that's so dark. No, ma'am. And I'm like, please just trust me. And they get it and they're like, oh, okay. When you swatch cream makeup on your skin, right, it should look darker than your skin. It should look a little dark and you should be scared of it. And then when you blend it, you're like, oh, oh, praise the lamb. Okay, good. She, she is not full of baloney. And so what happens is with liquid, that matches your skin tone perfectly, right? Because it's the opacity. It's the difference in the opacity between a liquid and a cream. So when you blend out your cream, it softens and it gets really sheer. So that's why they look really dark, but they're not really that dark. And you can also use different brushes. Different brushes will give you different finishes. So you, if you use a real fluffy brush, it's going to give you a more sheer coverage. If you use a dense brush, this one's a little bit more dense. It's going to give you a medium to full coverage. So those are preferences that you have and you can, I guess the one thing I really love about this makeup is that number one, it's customized to you with your shades. It's customized with the number of products. If you want one product or 27 products, this one's called the 27 palette because it's three layers. It's literally everything you need. Um, so it's customized with the shades and I customize every single customer. You'll get custom shades. I mean, unless you want to pick your own, go nuts. It's up to you. Um, but I also like that there's like, there's customization in literally everything, different brushes for different finishes and so many different styles that everyone has in their own makeup. There's like uh, 80 or 90 eyeshadows. There's 80 or 90 lip and cheek shades or wait. Maybe there's not that many. Maybe there's 50 or 60 lip and cheeks. Anyways, there's a lot. So you have a lot of options. And that's one thing that I really love about this makeup is it is literally for every woman. It's for every woman who just wants to explore with her makeup in a more simple way. And I love being an artist because then I get to like, I don't know, share my love for makeup every day. It's really cool. Um, let's see. I feel like Saint looks better on my face, but I don't get compliments on it like other makeup. I think it's because it looks so natural. Oh, maybe. And you could be using, you could probably use more. Like, maybe try more, try adding more dimension with your contour or more colors. Like, sometimes when we see the dark contour, a lot of people get a little intimidated by that. And they're like, we're not going to use so much. Try using a little bit more or adding some bronzer and see what happens. I'm just curious. Um, should I be contouring my neck and chin? I do, but I'm no clue if I, no clue if I'm doing it right. Oh, so whenever you are contouring your chin, this, see how this is like all white and pasty and I'll show you how I do this in the winter time. So this double chin right here, if you take your contour, sweep into that and just like literally give it the color. Like <laughs> if you do that and that chin is there, color it. So that whenever you hold your whenever you hold your head up, it looks like a shadow, right? So I bring my contour down my chin and neck area a little bit. Then I'm gonna show you the magic sauce that I do. I like to take this blush and bronzer brush, and I like to. I don't know the the release dates for the other countries. I'm not sure. As far as we know, it's sometime this year, from what I understand. But if you're are, if you're not on my um my list, my like let me know list or whatever, get on that, and then you can. I thought my colors were dark at first, but they're perfect. I'm telling you. <laughs> Your foundation will also look pink if it's too light and warm if it's too dark. Yeah, for I think for most people. Does anybody bake with Saint? I, of course, got the vanilla dust in my kit and love it for setting, but sometimes I need to bake the loose when I'm oily. Oh, you can do that too. Did you, um, when you say that you're oily, did, when you started using Saint, did your oiliness change? Like, did it start, did your face start becoming less oily? Because many people that, many of my customers, the more they use Saint, the less oily they get because it's just adding hydration and so you, your skin isn't producing as much, as much oil. I've worked in beauty for over 10 years. My skin is sensitive to new makeup and skincare. How do you think this one would do? Without making any disclaimers about, yes, it'll work for you, buy makeup from me. I, I can't say because I'm not your doctor. Your doctor has to tell you what works for you. I can give you a list of ingredients and you can determine that. But I have many sensitive skin customers that love this makeup because there's no alcohols to dry out your skin. There's beeswax, which is you probably know is really, really good and healing for your skin. And there's very, very few ingredients. So a, many, like a lot of my customers have sensitive skin and they swear by this makeup. So maybe try, maybe pick up like one or two shades and just see how it does on your skin and see if that's something that you want to continue to use. But I'd hate to say, yeah, no, totally. It'll absolutely work for you. Like, you know what I mean? Tapping the brush rather than painting the makeup was, it's so different than liquid, right? It, it really is so different. 
Marla, you're so nice. Um, I break out if I even touch a new product, and I've had the best experience with Saint. I, it's really great for my sensitive skin. Oh, Sherilyn, thank you for sharing that. I think it's so great when you guys, like, help one another kind of, you know, share your experiences because it's easy for me to say, right, because, like, I sell the makeup. So, of course, I'm like, yeah, it's great. You should totally buy it. But when you hear from other people, I think that really, really helps. Hi, Katie. I'm so glad you're here. How do we exchange a color? Do we have to pay for shipping? Um, if there's a shade you don't like and it's within 30 days, you can you can do a shade swap. And I think, I'm pretty sure you pay the $4.95 shipping to swap it out. Um, but if it's just a matter of being too light or too dark, I normally recommend keeping those shades because as the seasons go along... First of all, if you're if you're gonna lose five bucks, like it's up to you. What like how important is the other like twelve dollars you or eleven dollars or whatever? But I feel like as the seasons go on, most people start going into those other shades. I always recommend keeping it, but it's totally up to you. But I think it's four ninety five, and then they refund you the difference, or they'll just send you the different shade. Hmm. At first, it was bad oily. Then two weeks later, it magically got better. Yep. That's what a, a lot of my customers experience with this is that, like, the skin is less oily because this makeup just reintroduces hydration to your skin all day because there's no alcohols. There's no drying ingredients. Nothing's evaporating. And so that's what I, that's what I really love about it. Um, if I bought Saint from someone else before I found you, can I switch? You're so helpful. Oh, thank you so much. You can. If you're with an artist or you're with another artist and you want to switch to me or you're with me and you want to go to another artist, please don't. <laughs> it makes me sad. No, but you totally can. You can email um, customer service and just say, hey, I'd like to switch my artist, move my email address over. Or you can just create a new account with a new artist, but it has to be a different email. But then when you sign on to order makeup, it'll automatically put you back to the original artist. Um, so I would just email customer service. Oh, the purple shade. You guys, this grape is so pretty, right? And it smells like the lip smackers from the nineties. Do you remember when you were a kid? <laughs> I love your podcast. Oh, thank you for listening to the podcast. Did you guys hear the episode this week? <gasps> The, 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 the wife and the, the wife and the husband and the husband and the, with the wife's mom and they were doing that rah, 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 and they were getting it oh y'all y'all gotta go listen to that episode it was wild it was nuts and the, the mama was saying some crazy stuff about her son it was wild I don't wear any foundation I sweat a lot because my job is active how does saint hold up to sweat I personally do surveillance in a 140 degree car <laughs> I sweat like crazy um people you can go to the gym with it you can dunk your head underwater it's totally fine like I wouldn't like like spray your face with a pressure washer but you know what I mean um it's not waterproof I think I'm not allowed to say it's waterproof so it's not waterproof <laughs> it's it's be it's based with beeswax so like it's you know water mostly like beads off of it but if you do sweat a lot if you just take like a Kleenex or a makeup wipe and dab it'll just dab right off and then just use a setting spray it'll it's totally fine it's not powdery so if you cry or if you have sweat or anything like that it's not gonna uh, drip like when you're when the water drips down your face it's not going to bring that powder with it so it's kind of nice yeah the husband with the mom I can't yeah we have a setting spray it, it's just the it's just called the saint setting spray and it has aloe in it so I really I like it a lot Ugh, I talk too much I'm sorry okay next up bronzer so I did my three shit my well I used two you can use one I used two it's fine um I started with my contour so the darkest shade the lightest shade, so contour around the perimeter, the lightest shade in my T-zone, then I use my main shades kind of everywhere else. So you kind of get that kind of one layer of makeup, right? If you're like me, you like you like it to look like you're wearing makeup. If you don't, then you have that option too. You can apply it much less. Um, nothing shifted. <laughs> I use a random loose powder. I have, hold on, I use a random loose powder I have under my eyes that's not saint and I feel like it gets cakey. Is the Saint Setting Powder powder different? This this uh, Vanilla Dust Setting Powder is pressed, but it's very, very, very finely milled. Um, so I think with the pressed finely milled powder, I think you get, uh, in my opinion, in my experience, I feel like you get uh, you pick up a little bit less. So it's not as uh, chunky, I guess you could say, for the setting powder. Try it. See, if, if there's a 30 day return policy, so you can always try everything and then you know return it. If you don't like it, I'm closer to 40 than I like to admit. So I've been staying away from, I'm going to be 40 this year. 
If you responded to my message of my face breaking out, I missed it because I was giving my kids love before bed. Oh, you get those babies. All the loves. You don't talk too much. You're a breath of fresh air. Oh, can you tell that to my husband? I'm going to call him up. You tell you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you so much. I've developed real dark spots on my face. Will this makeup cover? Brooke, that's a good question. So a lot of us develop those uh, discolorations on our skin over time, dark under eyes, melasma, um, things like that. That's what this Demi was created for. If you have rosacea, for instance, like redness on your face, you can probably get away with just a foundation shade. So I always recommend to my rosacea girlies, start with the foundation. This has great color correcting properties in it. And then if you need to add a color corrector, we can. I just don't want you to be layering on too much makeup that you might not need. But with dark spots that we sometimes um, we sometimes get as we get older, we can color correct those by canceling out using the opposite color. And I can help you with the, the demi colors. So these are color correctors. I have like sunspots and age spots. Um, and so the color correctors are great for those. Um, I want to wear foundation, but at 52, I've yet to find a foundation that doesn't make me look a look weird ghost because I have a ton of freckles, but I'm not really fair. Okay, so my question is, do you want to cover your freckles or do you not? Because there's some people that you don't, sometimes you don't need a foundation. Like sometimes you need a light, like maybe like, I have some, hold on. So this is my bronzer. This is Bella, right? But there's a lot of my customers that have freckles that I have recommended this and they seem to really love it. And that is this light. Uh, that's the contours. Nope. That's the illuminator. Stand by. Hold on. Hold on. I'm okay. Um, I literally have no idea where they are. It's fine. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Nope, that, that was the advent calendar eyeshadows. Here they are. Okay, so these two shades, so palm and tan lines, those are a lighter bronzer, okay? You can use those really lightly over freckles, and you might not need foundation at all. So if you're not someone who's super fair, dusting your makeup like a powder instead of like a liquid or a cream will really give you the option to kind of give you that even skin tone. So it'll even skin tone, and it will not cancel your freckles but it also won't make you look like a ghost you're talking about the chalky look right that you get with like freckles try this color even if you're this is i'm not saying this is your foundation shade but if you dust it on over your face with your freckles you might really like how it looks or even if you just use it like a bronzer in the the high points of your face you might really like that so if you're a girl you have freckles and you want to use foundation but sometimes it's hard because that's freckles are green and then you have like you know whatever your skin tone is so that can be really difficult try the bronzer it's a really nice trick i really think you'll like it a lot and use a fluffy brush um mine survived wearing a mask half the day and eating chinese too oh chinese is so good and i actually still had pretty good coverage it does really well like th this makeup really sits really pretty and i've i don't I, I tried to hate it i really did when i first got this makeup i was like this is so stupid i really tried i promise and i've said 20 minutes ago i was gonna do bronzer okay so now that i've done those three shades comment match by the way if you want me to match you i personally do my own color matching so like it's not a computer or like a robot like it's me um i need the coverage without the heaviness yeah then do the demi i said all willy-nilly in front of in front of my husband he's in front of god and everybody oh my gosh that's so funny i love it um oh yay thanks broke no problem morgan thank you so much for your kindness i really appreciate by the way when you guys are really really sweet and kind because there's a lot of people that aren't really sweet and kind in this world so when you're kind to me and like to each other it really means the world to me we just we need more of that okay so i'm lightly dusting in my bronzer just it's not we're not digging right we're just kind of sweeping into it how long does the foundation last if i use it every day you really don't use that much so maybe four to six months, sometimes longer if you end up not using it every day. Um, it, it really lasts a good long time. And they're only 16 bucks. So, and you don't run out of everything at the same time. So like if you buy your makeup at first and you're like, okay, I just spent like a hundred bucks or I just spent 200 bucks or whatever it is, that's the whole idea is that you're replacing your entire makeup routine. But then going forward, like once you have your makeup, which you don't have to buy, like they're only $16. You buy as many as you want um, or as few as you want. Um, but then going forward, as you run out of something, you just replace that one thing and it's like 16 bucks. So it's, it's really reasonable. 
and super, super affordable. Okay, so I'm using this Bella bronzer. I'm using this super big brush, right? But super big brush does not mean jam it into your face and swirly whirl like a psychopath. We're not doing, we're not doing that. It's not what we're doing. We are using the tips of our bristles and we are dusting bronzer. Every part of your makeup, we are just dusting. We are lightly dusting over our face. We are not mashing and swirling like psychopath crazies. Okay, not doing that. <laughs> I don't know what to call the singles. Oh, so these are, we call these tins because they're little magnetic, they're little aluminum tins and they're all magnetic, right? So these are, this is one tin, one tin of makeup. So it's a little big tin, aluminum, big little tins. Kind of cute. Oh yeah, Brooke, I got you, I got you. Um, Stacy Pizza, I think I need some Demi for my circles. On. Oh, I can help with that. Text me your picture. No makeup, natural light, no sunshine. I have a lot of redness, but it's more than the pinpoint of the Demi. Oh, Katie, I was saying if you have redness in large areas like your cheeks, redness across your nose, on your chin, forehead, whatever it is, your redness usually can we is usually canceled out with the, just the foundation. So if you have your foundation, you put it all over and it, it's still not quite canceling out like color correcting, then that's when we come in with like a um, an option like now I have now it's like a memory game of which one is which. This contour shade, uh, you, some of you guys are going to think I'm nuts if you've never heard this before, so shut your mouth. <laughs> Just listen. <laughs> okay, this contour shade right here, this is called Aspen. She's our lightest contour shade, okay? This is our lightest one. Do you see how she's like grayish, kind of ashy? She has a green undertone, okay? So she has a greenish yellow undertone. This is going to cancel out red. So if you take a little bit of this um, this contour shade and putting it on with your finger isn't going to do it. But if you dust real lightly, um, like let's say you have this brush. We'll use the shape brush. Hold on. If you have an area of redness on your face, rosacea, whatever it is, like just a large red patch or whatever, a patch of pimples or acne, fluffy brush, dust in the aspen as if it's a powder and tap it on that redness and just kind of dust it on that re that area of redness. This will, if it doesn't cancel it out completely, it will correct it enough so that you can wear makeup. It, I'm telling you, it is wild, but it's the green. It's the green undertone in that contour that cancels out the red. I'm telling you, you know what I'm doing. Freaking trust me. Nobody ever believes me. They're like, nah, -uh, that can't be true. <laughs> yes, huh? <laughs> Um, these are all creams. So this is, it's all cream makeup. There's a, a powder setting powder and then the eyeshadows are powder. But yeah, it's all just, it's all just cream makeup. And when you think of cream makeup, you might be like, um, cream, like, ew, like I did. Cause I was like, ew, it's not heavy. It is not greasy. It's not oily. It's not cakey. It's not weird. It's just really, really, really light. Um, you make me want to sell it. You should actually, speaking of that, you guys, I had 151 girls join my team last month because we had the artist birthday. So many girls felt inspired and joined my team and it's been amazing getting to know them. And then many of them came to the con the virtual conference here in Tampa this past weekend. We had the best time. Um, but I think a lot of them, we were talking about like why they signed up and what, what made them feel comfortable enough signing up to be an artist. And one of my favorite things is that there's no minimums. Like nobody's ever going to pressure you to sell a certain amount. Like we ain't your mama. I ain't your daddy. Like do whatever you want. I don't care. There's no pressure to build a team. There's no, you don't have to do anything. If you have a team under you, right? So if you have, if you have people under you and you are earning commission off of them, you have to make a minimum sales amount of $350 a month if you want to earn commission from under them. So it's like... They don't just let the people at the top just collect all this money. Like everybody's working together for the for the uh, to better the business. And when the b business is good, we're good. And so, anyways, it's just really cool how like they they just create a community of like teamwork. And we all have to work together. Nobody can just sit on top and sit at the top and just collect a whole bunch of money. Nobody's allowed to do that. But also if you don't sell anything, like it's fine. Like nobody's, gonna, we're not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not coming to your house. I'm not, 
it's, I'm going to be like, hey, girl, are you okay? You're going to be like, yeah, I'm all right. And I'm like, all right, fine, cool. <laughs> but I think that's what a lot of the girls like is that it's just so, there's no pressure. Like, there's no, so many of them had come from other direct sales companies. And they were like, I had to sell $500 every three months or else they kicked you out or whatever. And so they ended up buying a whole bunch of product just to continue to be a rep or whatever. You don't have to do that. There's no minimum purchases. You don't have to sell a certain amount, nothing. So it's really, really like pressure free, such a cool company. Um, yes. Oh, Mimi. Okay. Mango for redness because mango has orange in it. Right. And so there's a lot of blue and mango has a lot of orange and yellows. There's a lot of blues and violets in that redness. It's not actually red. It's actually a lot of blue and violet. And so the yellows and orange cancel that out. And then sunlit is a nice, really pretty yellow for like violet blue tones under the eyes. That's a great tip also. I over bronzed once. Everybody had something to say about it. <laughs> always has something to say it's fine um yes it really it has a lot of color correcting properties i really love it look oh everyone's saying aspen is a game changer i'm telling you aspen is legit you get the aspen contour pop it into your palette redness like no, don't try to apply it like katie i wanna um i wanna see if we can change your foundation shade also like i wanna see if that might help a little bit um, but I mean, still get the Aspen and try it. Cause a lot of ladies really love it, but I also want to see if it'll make a difference with a different shade, but that's really cool. I like that we can kind of like play around with the shades and kind of learn them a little better. I thought she was on crack when she told me that for real. Cause it looks gray, but somehow it works. I'm telling you it's a wild, it's wild. Um, Oh, yes. So it's cream. It it doesn't go on like a powder. It goes on like a cream, but it it's like very skin like. It's not it's not real heavy. Like I'm going to I'm going to dig into my makeup here. You see this? It does not go on like like this is probably more than enough for my whole entire face. If I were to cover my whole face, this would be more than enough product. Like this is so much makeup. It's insane. So like when you swipe that, like you do not need <laughs> Holy crap, this is going to go like all over. Like this will literally cover your whole entire face. Like it's not, that is, that is way too much. Yeah, and you can see how cakey it is because <laughs> you have to spread it out more. It's like, it is not weird, creamy, thick and cakey. Like it's not like that at all. It's really cool. Like once you try it once or twice, you're like, I don't know. And then after that, you're like, trust the process, trust the process. And you're like, okay. I get this now. And then you start to get it. You're like, okay. And it's really cool. You, you really start to learn it. Um, oh, Canada, Manitoba, Canada. If I win my Super Bowl squares, I'm finally going to, what the hell is Super Bowl squares? I don't know anything about sports ball. Someone help me. Um, trust Mackenzie. I was skeptical at first, but I've never felt so natural or beautiful in makeup. Yay. Thank you so much for that vote of confidence. I'm telling you, like, I know it's so easy. Uh, it's called Saint, and yes, it's it's clean. Um, like there's so many people get compliments on their makeup, and they just absolutely love it. Oh, sorry. So when you hide the double chin, right? Uh, squirrel. I'm sorry. So you take your contour, put it on that white. So this white pastiness is what makes the double chin stand out, right? So whenever you have that uh, that contour down here, and then I take my blush and bronzer brush tap into my bronzer and I bring the color down and so it hides that white pastiness like obviously you can't like get rid of it but it's like spanks for your face you know what I mean and then you just like dust your bronzer down and if you're wearing like a low cut top you just kind of like bring it down to the girls like oh yes it's so pretty and then if you put a little bit of your shimmer down here it's really really nice I'm telling you like you can do whatever you want um, Aspen is to cancel redness. It's cool. I'm telling you, it is so cool. Um, yeah, it's really, um, comment, text me the pinned comment. You can text me there or just comment here the word match and it'll automatically send you the color match link here on Instagram. But if you don't, then I'll, I'll also screenshot this just in case. So I make sure to follow up with you after. I'm all for having everything in one compact. You guys, I would always use half my husband's suitcase for like my makeup stuff. And now it's literally 
it, obviously I pack other stuff like my moisturizer, my primer and setting spray and all that stuff. But like if I just only could fit this, like I'd be fine. Like deserted island, my same house. Like, not really because no one's there to care, but it's fine. You know what I mean? Um, hold on. I want to make sure I don't miss any comments. Is it easy to use and apply? Girl, you, okay. A lot of my customers who say, oh, I don't wear makeup that much. They end up wearing it every day just because of how pretty they feel and how easy it is to apply. So I, I love that it does that for women. I love that women are feeling beautiful again and they can do it easily. Like something super, super simple. Someone asked me how I got my winter glow. I'm telling you, it's a saint. I'm a makeup artist too, by the way. Oh, Presley, you, I love that. Presley Jude. I like that name. Is that a first and middle name or a first and last name? <gasps> I love that. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty name. Um, congratulations on your award. Oh, thank you so much. It was so much fun. I was so, I felt so honored. It was a fun award. It was a very fun award to win. Um, I'm still using the same 10 I first bought in September and I just now hit pan. I use it at least five days a week. Yeah, they really, it really does last longer than you think that it does. Um, do you have a recommendation for eye cream or a saint product for under eye puffiness? Um, I use the little ice roller balls and just like put on my moisturizer and like, or like an eye serum and just like roll them and it always goes down. Um, oh, 10 minutes or less, girl, I can do my whole entire face, including eyeshadow in seven minutes, like done. It is literally, oh my gosh, I can't even, my lives are always like 17 hours long, but it's fine. It's because I don't know how to shut up and talking. So I'm sorry, but, um, but yeah, super fast. Oh, I won the, um, we, the saint awards, there was, uh, six different awards and one of them was most interesting person or most interesting artist. And I won against some really awesome girls. Like we were, three of us were nominated, super amazing girls. So it was, it was really neat to, to like win that award. It was really cool. Yeah. I have like a, I have a little mini fridge in my office. And so I just keep them in there and you get them at like Marshall's. I have them on my Amazon too. They're really cheap, but they have the little styrofoam handles. And so you just kind of put it right there on the puffiness and it, it really helps really fast. Okay. So I basically use like all of these colors in my first layer or level or whatever. Now you can come in with a really pretty blush color. I've been using pink grapefruit mixed with nude, but I'll just do nude for now to not be obnoxious, but it's fine. But you can use as light or as heavy as you want. I usually put it on the backs of my cheekbones and you'll notice I'm not mashing. Like we, we don't, we don't mash. We're not mashing the brush. We just kind of tap it. And always just, just remember to have fun with your makeup and it doesn't have to be like super serious. It doesn't have to be color in the lines. Like this makeup is freaking legit. Oh, so my best friend of 30 years does custom press ons. And so she made these for me for Valentine's day and they match my toesies. See this little heart right here, the little polka dot heart. And then these little conversation she did one for somebody else and the the hearts were like bad words not bad words but one was like go away <laughs> like don't call me and those are really funny too but she creates uh custom press-ons she's amazing she's her um instagram is nail junkie 615 and she just has give her code freedom she'll give you 10 percent off your first set would you say the colors from the website are true in person? No, no, they are not. Do not, don't you dare trust those colors on that website. You trust me. Because I those colors on the website, listen, I've already put it in the suggestion box, but don't nobody listen to me. They they do their own thing. I've tried, y'all. I've tried to be like, yo, these colors ain't right. But like, li listen, just listen to me. And when I say get a color and you're like, that looks weird online, don't, I, I'm gonna need you to calm down and please, okay, <laughs> have a little faith in me because no them colors are wild <laughs> um no when I send a color match I will match you to a little bit of everything so I look at your eye color your hair color your eyebrows the shape of your face and I determine your contour shade your brightening highlight and your main shade 
But then I also match you to um, the lip and cheek shades that I think would go great with your eye color or sometimes with like younger ladies, I might match them to a really bright, pretty light Barbie pink. Um, with some of my older customers, I might match them to like Royal or Black Cherry where those look dark online too, but they're sheer. Don't worry. I would never make y'all look crazy. It's bad for business. I swear I can't have y'all running around all willy nilly looking crazy. I can't, I can't do it. Um, but anyway, so you know what I mean? And so if someone has like really, really, uh, like blue eyes, I might recommend the black cherry for sure. So I'll give you my faves based on my experience. And then I also try to, um, connect you with some eyeshadows that I think would look really nice on you, but obviously it's all preference. When I color match you definitely stick with the main shade, but then the rest you can kind of play with if you want to change it up. I just know what looks like pretty together, but again, it's your face. It is your makeup and you do what makes you feel the most beautiful. That's what I say. Um, my nails stay on a good long time, usually about two weeks. But she she sends you alcohol wipes and like a little pusher, like one of those plastic things that pushes back your cuticles. And she sends you glue and all that jazz. So she'll send you all of that so that you can um, and like dehydrate your nails and like you file them and buff them and all that stuff. She does a really, really, really good job. Her new website's good, right? She has a Mackenzie collection. And uh, so she... Um, Am I single? Do I date black men? Um, so unfortunately uh, for you, um, I am married to an amazing man and he will uh, us both if you don't go away. So um, just kidding. Let's see. Hold on. I try to make sure I don't miss any comments. You said sandstone was on my lip and cheek color. It looks so dark and I was like pass, but I got it in my kit and tried it and it looks so good. Oh, you mean I was right. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I know my stuff. It really does look really dark, but just, and don't, but don't be afraid to explore. Like if you get a, if you're like, okay, I'm going to trust her and you get the color and you don't like it, then you just like return it and get a different one or something. You know what I mean? Like totally don't be afraid to explore with your colors. Yeah. She has, um, yes. Tell her, say, I, I want the Valentine or whatever. Tell her whatever ones you want. But, um, she has different shapes. She can do super long. She can do super short. These are I think almond or something. She knows my size, but she'll send you a sizing kit and you press the, like the, they're just like acrylic nails that you put so that she can get the size and you tell her what size you want. So you order your nails and do all that. She'll send you the sizing kit. You put them on, you tell her, okay, my middle finger on my left hand is this size. And so you literally just tell her what size and then she knows what to make you and what to send you. You determine if they're short, square, long, medium, whatever, whatever. And she doesn't, she's, incredibly talented. It's insane. Um, okay. So now I've done basically my whole face. Like I've added some cool tones with the contour to kind of give myself some shadows. I've added my, uh, brightening highlight. Where is it? Brightening highlight up here. This is linen. And I use that right here to kind of brighten my T-zone. Um, I got my mean girls today. Oh my gosh. Are those yours? She showed them to me and I'm like, Oh my God, I want some of those. Oh my gosh. I can't believe those are yours. That's so cool. I love them. I was like, can you make me some, please? Um, then I added my foundation shade. I use two. You can only use one. It's fine. Do whatever works for you. So I use my main foundation. So that's the three, the contour brightening foundation. And then um, uh, my bronzer for a little bit of warmth. I added some blush. You can, whatever color you feel like that day. Also, you guys, I have physically, literally swatched every single, single shade of every single product that this company has. So if you want to see something like a lip and cheek shade or a couple lip and cheek shades, I literally have a picture of them on my face, on my lips, on my cheeks so that you can see them, so you can see swatches. So whatever you need, just ask me. I am so happy to help. Um, yeah, totally. Just send, girl, send it over. If I switch to you with customer service, will it tell my current person I hate comfort? Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't notify them. But like, as long as you, if you, you can, if you order from them, from their site or whatever, it will give them the commission. But then if you switch over, it doesn't send them an email and say, hey, this customer like took off on, like it doesn't say that. It just, but I, I kind of feel like, but there's a lot of customers that have switched from me. Like I had some, um, a couple of more mature ladies that they were like, can I switch my artist to someone who's older? And I've literally recommended them, um, some older saint artists that I trust just because if you don't relate to someone, like they're like, I have, you know, you don't have any wrinkles and I can't relate to that. And so like we all our saint sisters, like we have a really good, um, 
friendship here among all of us. So there's never anything like that. Like we all support one another. It's, it's the coolest culture here. Uh, no one worries about that stuff. What's the minimum one compact? I don't really wear eyeshadow or blush. I normally do bronzer. You don't, there's no minimum of anything. You can buy one color. I mean, I wouldn't buy just one color because then you don't get the, like the dimension, but you build your own palette shade by shade. So I'll color match you to all the things and I'll send you this big giant shopping list with brushes and eyeshadows and all the colors. You don't have to buy all those things. You choose what you want to add to your cart. So I would maybe recommend um, if you just want to stick with the dimension, Try maybe the bronzer, the contour, a brightening, and a main shade. At least allow yourself the dimension and the warmth with the bronzer. And I think that would be... And they come like... There's little palettes like this, y'all. That's... Hold on. Stand by. Where's all my stuff? I don't know where any... Something fell down behind me and I like freaked out. <laughs> um, hey, Brandy. Oh, do you like the shoes? I'm glad you got them. Um, okay, so this is one of our smaller palettes. This is the four compact. This is the four, this is the number four collection. You can build your palette shade by shade or you can purchase a pre-made collection. This is the number four collection. It's foundation, concealer, contour, blush. Literally just like super easy. It's 107 bucks. It comes with the brush. So four shades, the compact and the brush, right? And it's just super easy peasy. You can literally do your whole face no big deal. Um, and if you want to get the collections, you can still, when you comment match or whatever, um, y'all, if y'all want to get color match, by the way, comment match or text me on this little number that I posted down here. Um, but if you, you can use my match to purchase a collection or you can just say like, text me and be like, Hey, I just want a collection. Can you just tell me what number collection to get? And I can help you with that too. Like it's literally nothing that's like, like it's nothing great. Like I just feel like it's it's more of a personal touch. You know what I mean? Like, you can text me and just be like, hey, girl, like, this is what I'm self-conscious about. This is what I want. And that's what I'm there for is to help you find your – I, I want to help you find your beautiful. Your beautiful might not be bronzer and contour and all that stuff. And so that's what's great about this company is they really – everything is so customized. <gasps> oh, yay! I'm so glad, Veronica. Thank you for buying that stuff. I've been trying to get that stuff out of my, out of my freaking – uh, guest room. <laughs> I have so much stuff for sale on Mercari still. I've dyed my hair since I did my first color match and I've been told by two people that I look pale so I should go one shade deeper. Just send a new, send a new picture because I, it could just be something as simple as like the contour shade or something. So just send me a new picture. You don't have to do like the whole color match again. Just text me and be like, Hey girl, can you match me again? And I'll be like, yeah, send me a new picture. The buff brush. I don't think the buff brush is on sale. Um, the shape brush. Hold on. This one. Um, hold on. Stand, stand, what, what's happening? This one. Ugh. This is the shape brush. This one's on sale right now. All the, all the silver brushes are on sale right now. This one you can do with your whole face. This one's going to give you a more sheer light coverage. So if you're a full coverage girl, get, get a more dense brush like the 3D brush. But if you, but all the silver brushes are on sale. What brushes would you say are a must? I have my three. I have the 3D brush, right? Because it's a little dense. I got this little fluffy one. And then the detail brush. These are my absolute favorites, like 100%. But if anybody says, what's the number one brush you would recommend? It's always the, the 3D brush. It's just the most versatile for everything, I think. It could be the color of your hair washing you out. Yeah, that's true too. But I just, I feel like you could probably like kind of help that with, um, with, some change in a little bit of your makeup. Yeah, I actually have a, I'll do a video for you for the brushes, but basically fluffy brush, like really flowy, easy. We can bend those bristles. So it's okay if we're kind of bending the bristles a little bit on those. And that's going to give you a sheer coverage. Something super dense, like, I don't think I have the brush, buff brush here. It's in, I just washed all my brushes. This one is more dense. This one is not fluffy. This one is very like militant and like steadfast, like military haircut, right? Think about that. That's not going to budge. Like we're just using that to chisel things out. We're tapping super full coverage if you do this for your whole face, right? Because we're going to use that just to tap. And then this is the, the detail brush. The smaller end is when you can do a little bit of feathering, but this is going to be a more full coverage. So just think... 
bigger fluffy means those bristles can kind of move around and the more it moves around the more sheer it's going to make your makeup if they're tighter and really pressed like closely together that's going to give you a more full coverage so just try to think about it that way but otherwise i can totally do a, i have a couple videos on that but i'll do an updated one um anyway so then the lip and cheek shades they double and i want to show you guys this because a lot of people think that i'm absolutely on crack when i tell them to get this color this is called black cherry it's on the website and it looks like literally a black crayon. It is not. This is that <laughs> crazy black cherry. Oh, for the dots, do the smudge brush. It's got two dense ends. One's a little bit more round. One's a little bit more flat smudge brush for the dots. But look, this is that black cherry color. It's wild. It's so crazy. Look. How pretty is that? You can build it up, build it down, but it's build it down. Mackenzie Jean. Oh, Lord. But anyways, it's sheer. And so you can do it really dark and heavy. You can do it intense. You can do it super light. This is that black cherry. So if I recommend black cherry to you, no, I'm not on drugs. No, I do not need therapy. It is literally so freaking pretty. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, Mackenzie, thank you so much for recommending that. I'm so, and then you'll be like, I'm so sorry that I didn't believe you. And then you're going to feel really sad. And yeah, because that's black cherry. You're welcome. See what I mean? Kind of nice, right? So y'all trust me. I know what I'm doing. You have to remember, like if you don't look pretty, that's like bad for business, okay? I can't have my customers run around all willy-nilly looking crazy. It's just bad for business. It's not, it's not great, okay? <laughs> yes, black cherry is so beautiful. And you can mix. I love um, I love mixing the shades together. This is one that I don't... Is this... Rachel, is the grape... Is the grape still on the... I don't know if the grape is still on the website, but grape is really pretty. It's very, very light. It kind of... It's very, like, sheer. Like, just the opacity is different. It's not super crazy. Um, yes. How long does a lip color black cherry last does it have staying power? These lippies do not promise to be staying power and they will not like they are not all day wear. If you want to, one thing that I like to do is I like to take a small little three palette like this. This is the Demi six palette, by the way, it'll hold three lip and cheek shades. Um, I carry this with me just for touch ups, but because the ingredients are so clean, there's nothing in it that will give it that staying power. So if you want to reapply, I would just keep it in a palette like this. Or if you want, like a, if you want a legit, like heavy duty bulletproof lipstick, I recommend the Too Faced, uh, oh, Mackenzie Jean, what is it? Too Faced, uh, stand by, hold on. Move. So many cords. It's the Too Faced. Oh, Melted. The Too Faced Melted Matte. One of my favorites for super, super dry. Okay, this is like, you You might want to put a gloss over this one. But it is. it will literally stay all day. And if you have other recommendations, you can let me know. But, um... What brush did you use the black cherry? Oh, I just put it on my cheeks with my finger and then I used this one, the, the blush and bronzer brush and just kind of tapped it. Look at my grandpa eyebrow. <laughs> if you think about your grandpa, he probably has an eyebrow like that. Um, anyways, and so you just kind of tap that on and look how pretty. And you don't, you guys, if you don't want to use like a super heavy makeup like I do, like if you want it a little bit lighter, go lighter. It's totally buildable. Like do whatever you want. I'm not your mama. Like, I mean, you can, if you need, if you need a friend, girl, I'll be, I'll hug you and love you like your mama, but I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Is this company a USA based and operated company? Um, yes, but we are actually going global this year. So we'll be operating in Mexico, the UK and Australia at some point this year. Otherwise we're based out of Utah. Oh, He's, I don't, I don't understand whose algorithm am, am I in? What, what, where are these people coming from? Anyways. Okay. And then last thing, setting powder. I'm just taking a, like a small fluffy brush. You can see how finely milled that is. And I just tap a little bit of setting powder here. I listen to the dating detectives. Do you have other podcasts? Um, no, but I actually, uh, Friday I'll be recording for another podcast. Um, uh, Mandy Matney's, uh, cup of justice podcast. 
Um, I was on uh, Heather Burge's podcast called uh, Called to Lead, which is a really great podcast for direct sellers. So listen to that. Listen to her podcast if you're a direct seller. Um, really great, not just for Saint, but for anybody. Really, really great information. Um, but no, I just have the dating detectives. And also, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to share with you. So I got my very first like brand deal as like an influencer because like I'm cool or whatever. Anyways, so hello fresh advertises on the podcast on my dating detectives uh podcast and they asked me if i would do a personal like brand deal with them it's like literally the like the first actual real like like really well paying brand deal um anyway so i just posted on my instagram stories they asked me to do an instagram story go watch my instagram story and if you love me like just tap the link you don't have to buy anything unless you want it like i, I love the hello fresh or i wouldn't have done it but it, if you tap the links it'll like it'll show them that like <laughs> it's doing really well and then i'll be able to um they so hello fresh does like they're with a company so like there's companies that like we call them like brokers and they like have all these different companies that they do brand deals with. And this company that's over hello fresh, um, that they, the company that they work with has all these other brands. And so like, if it does well, then I could probably do like brand deals with other cool brands. I'm really excited, but that's really fun for me. Cause I don't know. My life has been boring as a PI for 17 years. I've been sitting in my car doing nothing. So this is like way like everybody else is probably like, okay, cool. But me, I'm like, this is so fun. Um, HelloFresh is amazing. Well, because both of the boys were like, you're cooking. And I was like, yeah. Like, they were like, you don't cook. Why are you cooking? I don't know how to cook, y'all. I don't know. I genuinely do not know how to cook. I don't like to cook. I'm not interesting. It annoys me. But I got to admit, it was actually pretty easy. Thank you, Rachel. Um, okay, do you recommend primer under the makeup? Yeah, there's a lot of really good primers. I, a lot of saint artists or a lot of women might tell you, only use this kind or don't use the kind with silicone or whatever. You have to try with your skin, trial and error, what your skin likes. I always say with this makeup, try it without any primer. See how your skin does. See if there's texture and then go from there and see what you need. If you have areas where you're like, okay, I feel like this is, everything else looks nice, but there's one area where I need more, I need like more coverage or whatever, then try the primer there and see how it sits on that. So little by little, kind of like when, with um, allergies, you take out everything and add little things back little by little just to see what you're allergic to or whatever. Um, we had to do it. We had to do that with my dog. That's why I know. <laughs> um, I'm stupid. Anyway, so um Anyway, so try that with your primers and just see what works with your skin. There's not a one size fits all for makeup. There's not a one size fits all for primers. So, but I can give you some of my favorites and what I know have worked well with a lot of my customers and a lot of my makeup clients. Um, one that I never used before because I thought it was gimmicky and everybody was like, oh, try this. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It's really good. I, I really do. I really do like that a lot. It's the Elf Power Grip and the Milk. Um, that one's a more expensive version of the Elf, basically. But those are really good. Um, also, if you use a setting spray, you can use like the Saint Setting Spray all over as a primer. Rare Beauty Illuminating works good with Saint. Oh, good. Thank you for that. Okay, so try the Rare Beauty one too. Um, also if you are, if you're new here, I made a mistake. So when I first started selling Saint makeup back in January, 2022, you guys, I thought the skincare was gimmicky. And I was like, I'm not pushing that on my customers. Like that's ridiculous. And then two years later, back in like November, um, I started using it. And then I was like, I'm a dumb, like I am a dumb, I am a dumb because it, it's really good. So I've been using these refresh wipes, right? And they have makeup remover, cleanser, and toner in them. So it's basically skincare in your makeup wipe. If you're a lazy girl, and I say this because I know some of us are like, I know some of us, I know some of y'all be skipping the, the skin, the face wash. I know some of y'all do. Don't lie. I just moved from Illinois to Florida. My makeup seems to slip. Even with e.l.f. primer, how do you get it to last and not melt? Um, you, it sounds like you could be using too much. I wonder if you're using too much. I think you should shade up and use much, much less and see how you like it. I totally think you should try it. But then if you do that, let me know because I like. I think that I think that's going to be a game changer. Um, okay, so 
I know some of y'all, I'm not going to call you out, but I know some of y'all be skipping the, the face wash, right? Put these by your bed. And when I'm lazy and I forget or whatever, or just get too lazy to clean my face, just use one of these wipes. And I'm telling you, it will take off everything and leave your skin cleansed. And at least like, at least you can, then you just wash in the morning. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. But this is a really great alternative to being like when you're laying in bed with the kids and then you're like, oh my gosh, like I just don't feel like washing my face right now. Um, they say that whenever you don't wash your face, your skin ages like seven times faster or something. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I don't know. If it's, whoever said that they could be full of shit. I don't, they could be full of baloney. I don't know, but I'm not, <laughs> I think it was probably like a, like a skin scientist or something, but I, I don't know for sure. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to risk it. So we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna clean our face. So I just want to show you. See how it like, you can, you can just see the difference. Like you can see how this side, it still looks like my skin, but just more even and a little bit more glowy. But even, even this with the, the wipes or whatever, I still look really glowy. And when you use these, you guys, your skin, you'll feel it and you'll be like, holy crap. Like it feels really good. I'm in Florida helping my mom. I'll have to watch tomorrow. Love the Saint Wipes. Started using them. This, They sting my sensitive skin for a sec, but the results are amazing. Oh, Wendy, thank you for sharing that. Because I have a lot of like rosacea girls, um, psoriasis, eczema girls that wear that use them. And they've never mentioned that. So that's I'm really curious about that. You'll have to tell me more about that. But they, a lot of, especially the rosacea girls have noticed that the, the Saint skincare, I think it's because it's milk-based, has taken away a lot of their redness. Yay, Brookie, I'm so glad. Could you cut the wipes and have to make them last longer? I'm I'm sure you could. Like I'm positive. Yeah, yes, probably do that. It's fine. But I like I was so worried because I'm not someone who was really excited about doing sales. I didn't know. I signed up as a Saint Artist on accident, by the way. Like I didn't know it was direct sales. I didn't have like upline. Like I didn't nobody recruited me. Like I came here as a pure idiot. As a PI, I'm ashamed of myself. I did not do any research. I was just like, that makeup looks good, cool, add to cart. Oh, you can get this kit? Fine. I thought it was like affiliate marketing and I would like, they were going to pay me like 15 cents a post or whatever, however much it was. And it was not that, but it's fine because here we are. Um, but anyways, hey, Derail. I love him. What are those wipes? Also, would my cellar water wipes take off the Lashify lashes? I only got three days out of my first one. <gasps> oh, your Lashify? You should, my lash, if I last like seven to 10 days, like and they, they would even stay longer if I wasn't ready to like get the, the eyeshadow and stuff out of them. Amanda, thank you so much. See what I mean? You guys, this Saint sisterhood is legit. Like you guys have to, if you've ever thought about being an artist, even if you haven't start thinking about now, be a Saint artist. You guys, I'm telling you, it is like, it's the, it's just the coolest I, it, I don't know how else to say it. it's just the coolest environment and like there's just no pressure here like it's just do you know what I mean like if no matter your circumstance like if it's something you want there's a way for you to achieve it and I can help you with that like or at least help help guide you in a direction of you know with ways that'll help you personally and like I just I think that's so cool I just love this company's amazing do you need primer under the face makeup? I personally don't need a primer, but when I use a primer, I like the difference. I, I can tell a little bit of a difference. But you see how this side, like, you can still see my skin. You can even still see my lines and wrinkles. Like, it's not, this is not, like, magic, like, gonna wipe off your wrinkles or line or whatever, right? Like, it's not, it's, it's not gonna do, like, nothing is gonna do that except for, like, surgery and work, whatever. But it does give you a little lifty lift. Like, it's, it's spanks for your face. It is not going to take away every flaw, everything you think is a flaw. It's not going to take those away. But what, what it will do is it'll help even your skin tone, give you a little bit of dimension and a really beautiful, youthful glow that maybe you didn't see before. And so I just think it's really empowering to kind of, you know, I mean, I think we could do that with any makeup. I just particularly like this makeup. Number one, because I earn a commission when I sell it. So like... I, it's like, it's, I love it. Um, but I'm just kidding. Um, but also like, it's just easy for women. Like I've been doing makeup for people for a long time. They've trusted me to do their makeup. And 
um, they, they would take selfies and they'd look in the mirror and they'd be so excited with how their makeup looks, right? But then they would go home and they would wash their face off and that was it. Like that was the end of the experience, right? And so I've had so many people tell me, can you just come do my makeup every day? I felt so pretty. But with this makeup, I love how it empowers women to do it every day themselves. And a big problem that women have is they don't have time. We've got kids climbing all over us. We've got diapers to change. we got taxis to drive. we got to take our kids to sports. And I'm a swim mom, a new swim mom myself. And that's an everyday thing. And like, we just don't have time, right? Like we got to, we want to take as much time as we can to sleep and, you know, get out the door, you know, without spending a whole bunch of time on our makeup. Like we just don't have time. And so this is a great way to help women have the time and just feel beautiful really quickly. And it's just really fun to play with too. So try it. Comment match to get a color match. And you can also, if you want to get, um, if you want some artist information, comment artist and I can help you like give you some information about the artist program and see if it's something that you might want to do. It's not for everybody, but like, I don't know. There's no, it's no, it's not hurting anybody to like learn a little bit more about it. You know, I don't know. It's just fun. But anyways, you see how it just like the, my skin is still glowy and I just, there's, the skincare is milk based. The, I will be honest with you, the spray, like actual spray cleanser, I felt like it was a little too gentle. I didn't, I wasn't super crazy about it for my skin. So I personally don't use it. I have a lot of customers who love it. Um, I personally don't, I, I don't want that to dissuade you from trying it. So if you want to try a new cleanser and toner, like try the, try the skincare line. But for me, it was just a little bit too gentle. I use the, um, I use the Benefit Pore Clearing Cleanser, and it has been my absolute favorite out of all that I've used, and um, do the, does the Lashify lashes make your real lashes come off or break? They've never made mine do that. I've My lashes have never been affected by them, but I'm also real careful. Like When I take off my Lashify lashes, I actually use the stuff, the taker offer. What's it called? Melt away. Sorry. Not, it's not take her offer. I'm, I'm from plant city. It's fine. Um, anyways, it's called melt away and I just use a soft cloth and I just kind of use that stuff and I use this little poofy and I just kind of wipe it real gently. I just got in more cream today. Oh, the cream is so good. The Saint cream, like it is, it's legit. You guys like it is milk based. It is so thick. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, they, it's same for me. They, I don't have any damage. Um, you should try the artist program. I did and have never had the makeup on before. Just go with it. You, I signed up too without ever having tried the makeup. I didn't know that I was signing up, but it's fine. <laughs> but anyways, we have, um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I call, thank you, Stephanie. You're so nice. I appreciate your kindness. Um, so I call my team the Freedom Babes, right? And for me, freedom means the, well, first of all, because I'm four, I was born on 4th of July, so it was like freedom, whatever. Um, but also when it comes to beauty, I feel like we're told so much what is pretty, what is beautiful, what's acceptable, what's not, what's in the magazines, what's on the, what's on the runways, what's all these things, right? And so we're kind of told what we should expect for, from beauty or what we should expect beauty to be. But I feel like we should be able to have the freedom to decide what is beautiful to us. If you walk around with makeup like Betsy Johnson or like, what's her name from the Drew Carey sh show Mimi with the big blue eyeshadow, right? She looked crazy as hell, but she felt pretty. Like that's what she did every day because it made her feel pretty, right? So I always say your confidence walks into a room before your makeup does. So if you can bring yourself to, if you can bring yourself to explore with makeup, explore with the, uh, something like the artist program or just explore something different, like something you've never done before. I really think that you'll, you'll enjoy what you come up with. So anyways, um, information about color matching or skincare or anything like that. I can totally help you with Demi color correctors. Just text me. I'm, I'm a human. Just talk to me like a human being. It's literally like, um, it's literally great. We don't, um, we, d thank you so much, Amber. I appreciate, um, I appreciate that, but we don't eat out of the trash. We don't consume garbage. So, um, sadly I'm going to have to kick you out. Um, we don't say negative things here. This is a positive place. Zero, zero, um, tolerance. So 
Don't come here spewing nothing bad. You're so beautiful inside and out and hilarious and real, which makes you 100% even prettier. Thank you so much, Katie. That's so nice. You guys, be nice to each other. Like, we're we're supporting one another here. We're not, we're not tearing each other down. We're supporting each other. And if you don't like what I'm doing, like, zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket because I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm helping women feel beautiful and... I think that's a, I think that's a pretty important freaking job. So whatever. Um, anyway, so yeah, let me know what questions you have. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me tonight. And I'm glad I got to see so many new faces and for all the new, like St. Artists that I've met recently and all like new customers and customers that have been here forever. I'm just so grateful for y'all. So thank you for being here and being my friend. I, I kind of was someone who grew up with not a lot of friends. I was someone who kind of got pushed around and bullied a little bit. So it's nice to come here and just have a group of women that really, really, that really, really just love me. And we all love each other and we support each other. So let's do more of that because there's a lot of people out there that really need your support, you guys. They really need, they really need your love. So just try to be kind and just do something, just do something loving. Bye, Felicia's. <laughs> Yeah. Bye, Felicia. I always wondered if like women named Karen or women named Felicia were always like, oh my gosh, like, here we go. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, Marla. I love you so much. Okay. I'm going to go eat my, uh, Panera bread that my husband got me and go spend some time with him. Brown chicken, brown cat. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to sit on the couch and watch some dumb reality TV show. <laughs> me i feel like i can be myself here so it's fine um anyways okay i love you guys have an amazing night i love you so 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 much thank you so much for all your love and kindness and for giving me a safe place where i can share my heart with you guys i love you so much bye